a tutorial. So out of all the TikToks I've ever made in my life, and I've made quite a bit now over the last year, in this video, I've never had more comments, especially more comments saying, please give a tutorial. And often when I see one or two comments saying, can I have a tutorial, I often go, yeah, I might do it. But then if there's not enough requests, I don't really do a tutorial. But this one, it was like every second person was like, how do you do it? How do you do this? How do you do this? And I was like, whoa, okay, I'm gonna have to do it. So this is the video that got the most comments asking how I made it. This other video also did really well, got over a million views on Instagram and you know, a lot of comments there as well, but this one is what I'm gonna focus on today. We're gonna to show you how to do this viral hoodie trend. A few people have done this kind of trend. Jason Drulo did it, so as soon as he does it, it's a cool trend. All right, so let's just jump straight into it, make it really fast, two minute tutorial Tuesdays. It's a lot of tease, but let's do it. So first set up your phone on a tripod or lean it against something. Just make sure it doesn't move for the whole time and then press record. Set yourself up in front of a table that is, isn't gonna move if you slam your head into it. So I did it on, in an island in my house, which is basically made of stone, but just do it on a sturdy table and don't give it too big a whack that it's gonna move and shake your camera because the camera can't move. Then just get a load of stack of hoodies. Make sure if you don't have enough hoodies, just buy some more because hoodies are always a good investment. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. So get your hoodies, try on your first hoodie, act it out just like I'm doing here and then slam your hand into the table. Now what I found originally, I was trying to slam the jumpers on the table like this, but it's hard to get the right connection because the hood flies all over the place. So I stuck my hand through the jumper, held the hood and then slammed into the table, which made it so much easier to get that perfect landing. Now, once you do that, just run quickly off the scene. So slam your jumper and then run straight off. Second clip, try on the jumper you just slammed and put your head in the position that you slammed the jumper. Have the new jumper ready on your other hand and then act it out just like I'm doing here. Now, I'm just gonna focus on how to edit these two clips together and then you just do the same process for the rest of the images. So it's a little bit complicated of an edit, but if you just follow these steps, it'll be really easy to do. So what I recommend to do is watch this video through once, just so you get a vague idea in mind of what's ahead of you. Then when you go to edit it, or if you're even if you're just learning here, when you go to edit it, just follow this step by step and it'll be way easier to get an edit like this. And you can be creative, you don't have to copy exactly, but yeah, it's a fun edit to do. So I'm gonna do it in Premiere Pro, Adobe Premiere Pro is the program I'm gonna use. I did originally make this one in After Effects, but I've remade it in Premiere Pro and it's the exact same. Just Premiere Pro is really easy and After Effects is a really complicated software. So basically you have your two clips. You have your first clip of you slamming it into the table, then you have the second clip of you slamming it into the table again, but with a different hoodie. Overlap these on top of each other and line them up to the point where when the hoodie hits the table, your head on the next clip is rising from the table. So even if you play it side by side, it's still gonna look smooth enough. But as you'll notice, the person who slams the hoodie into the table just suddenly disappears, which doesn't look great. So all you do now is duplicate your first clip. You can do this by dragging your first clip and holding Alt at the same time, drag it to the top. Crop it in until it starts at the same length as your second clip, and then go to opacity and go to this little pen tool. Draw a pen mask around your body and try and be as accurate as you can and play with feather and adjustments as you see fit. And make sure to tap on this time watch option. This basically creates a keyframe, which means every three frames, if you adjust the mask, like if you move the points, the previous mask is gonna be saved in position. So all you're gonna do is go three frames forward, move all these points to be on the outside of your body, as you can see what I'm doing here. Go three frames forward again, move all the points, three frames forward, move the points. Do that again and again until you're off the screen and do that loads and loads of times at loads of hoodies. You might have to film it a few times because it's not a like a very easy thing to get perfect. Like you might slam the hoodie on the table here and then the next clip you rise your head here and it won't be very smooth. So you might have to go back and film the whole thing again. But what I recommend to do is when you're filming first off, instead of just doing one motion, slamming it and thinking that's good, do it like three or four times so you have a few different options to choose from. And yeah, this is what you get at the end of the day. And if you want to go a bit advanced, I'll show you one straight after, which is you know, a more advanced version because it's full body masking. But yeah, if you, you crack on, very easy to do, go viral. These have got millions of views. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. See you soon. If you want some more videos, uh, let me know below. Anyway, have a good one.